Hi developers, subscribers and friends! If you are struggling to jump into the Google Cloud train, I can recommend a simple way, a very easy way, how to use Google Cloud and how to step by step deploy some running solution. I'm Stefan Bertosz and welcome to the For Developers channel. I'm speaking about Google Cloud Marketplace. What's that? It's something similar like you have on your iPhone or Android phone, a central place where you can install applications from. In this case, in the Google Cloud Marketplace, it's a type of SaaS application, containers, VM, datasets uh, and others, which were prepackaged by either Google Cloud or some vendors and are ready to be used. If you don't have a project yet, I can recommend Google Free Tier, which is offering $300 for 12 months. Obviously, I'm already out of this Free Tier, so I will show you how I will uh, use it and create a brand new project, so you will have a similar tutorial experience. Let's start and navigate to Google Cloud free trial. So if you just Google Google Cloud free tier, it should show you a link to the free tier. I cannot use it because I'm already out of this, but if you click on this and you provide some details uh, and so on, you can get a project for free with credits $300 and 12 months, which is nice. Anyway, the first thing which you should do is to create a project. So I have my own uh, pro um, projects which are there. I will not showcase them, but if I try to create a new one by clicking on a new project, it will ask me about the project name, uh, billing account, organization and so on. So for the project name, I will use for developers. something like that and there are some restrictions on the project names you will see the validation errors if you don't fulfill that billing account if you create your first um, project or you know you use the free tier you will be uh, having uh, some kind of a billing account i'm using my billing account organization i don't have one so the simple as that i would click on create and voila, new project will be created for me. And then I will use this project for the whole tutorial. So I click on the select project and it will navigate me to this brand new project, which you can see here. And without further ado, let's navigate to the marketplace. There are multiple ways how to navigate that. I will use the navigation. And if I scroll down, there should be somewhere some Thing called the marketplace you can pin it so it will stay on the top but if you click on the marketplace it will navigate you to the thing we want to play today so as you see on the left side there are some filters on the right side there are some categories which are um, predefined for you and we will play around with that what is this marketplace good for it is good for consumers or users of cloud like me and you where we want to easily deploy something which is already prepackaged or for the uh, partners or vendors which want to sell their applications but let's focus on the scenario where we will be a consumer and we want to install something on our own i will show a demo where we will install the vm then a demo where we will install something on Kubernetes and maybe some SaaS solution. I will explain the installation procedure, then the mm, billing, uh, installation, I mean the cost and mm, licenses, and then how to get rid of the whole solution which we deployed, how to clean up. There are obviously also other ways how to do the things but I wanted to show just this simple way 
clicking through the marketplace. And obviously you need to have the billing account, otherwise you will be not able to install anything. And let's start with some demo time. So let's say that we want to install a Jenkins on a VM. How can we do this? So let's pick Jenkins, uh, for example, to deploy the Jenkins solution in the VM. So let's type Jenkins. And if you enter this, it will display you a lot of solutions, uh, but we will pick one from Google. Uh, on each of the solutions, you at least have an overview. This is an overview page uh, describing the solution. Then you have additional details, which uh, will be a specification on versions, operation systems, and the additional technologies used there. Then a pricing information with some defaults pre-selected, which are required for the solution. Uh, maybe then some links for the support and documentation. If you are fine with that, click on the launch button. Usually, uh, if you have a brand new project, some APIs needs to be enabled, so you will have a screen which will require to enable some APIs, and then it will redirect you to this deployment wizard. What we can see on the first one, there is a default zone which I don't like, and I would like to deploy my solution in um, or in a zone which is closer to my location, so I would pick um, Europe West 3 minus B. Uh, you have a predefined uh, CPU and memory. Let's keep that because this uh, solution requires a lot of memory. But of course, there are th different solutions which have a different constraints. If you change this, you would see the change in the pricing. So on the right side, you have an estimated pricing, and it, this depends basically on the memory, on the CPU and boot disk, which is pre-selected for you. You can as well configure whatever else in this page. You can configure the firewall rules by specifying the IPs, but we will um, allow everything for HTTP, HTTPS, and if you're fine with that, click on the deploy. And this will take some time. So be patient. When the deployment is, when the deployment is finished, then you will see on the right side here, the address, the username and password. So what can we do now? We have the site address. We can click on this. It will open you know, page. We can continue. And basically, it should um, start our or show our Jenkins instance. And we can provide a username and password, which is defaulted. Let's try this. And voila, the Jenkins is up and running. You, of course, would need to change the password, um, set the user management, uh, install the plugins, and so on and so on, but this is not a part of the tutorial. The important stuff is that it runs, it started, it's in the zone which we requested with the machine we specified. You can also log in via SSH to the machine if you like, and there is also some small guide which is on this uh, site for you. So, Jenkins solution installed for marketplace is running great now let's continue and let's go back to the marketplace and now we would install um, other solution which would be wordpress but not on the vm but on the kubernetes engine so let's try to type wordpress And there will be uh, plenty of them, but let's look for the solution which runs on the GKE. Should be somewhere there. Yes, it's this one, again from Google. And let's click on this to see all the details, and you will see there's some kind of overview, what it supports, what I uh, guess the pricing. Pricing will be based on the Kubernetes engine. So let's click on the configure and this will trigger some wizard again 
As usual, it will set up some predefined zone, but we don't like it. Let's deploy in my favorite zone, which is uh, Europe West 3 minus B. It will use our project default network and subnetwork. We can change it, obviously, if we don't have a cluster. In this case, it's an empty project. I don't have a cluster. I would like to create one. So we could obviously use existing one or create one. Let's create the default cluster, which they offer. This will take some time, so be patient. Obviously, in the meantime, we can change the other values. We can change the name of the instance. We can change the parameters. Uh, we can change the email address. We can enable the public access, because we want right now, in this case, to have a public access. And when the Kubernetes cluster is up, then the enable button will be uh, and then the deploy button will be enabled for us but we need to wait until the cluster is up and running so as you see the cluster is successfully created and now we have a deploy button so what this will do this will try to deploy a solution to the kubernetes cluster and we will again be notified when this deployment is done so it will take some time we will see the progress here and voila, the WordPress is deployed to Kubernetes. How can we find out? There is a WordPress info and the address. Let's try it out. It's running. And of course, you can also check the VP admin where you need to provide the credentials. If you unhide it, you will see all the credentials and you can easily log in. And we have a running WordPress. Hurrah! So, um, the next one which I wanted to show you is a SaaS solution. And how do we find a SaaS solution? We would use the filters. So, for example, you put type SaaS. This should show you some SaaS solutions which are there. And just uh, randomly clicking on this. Uh, it's a different uh, way how to request these solutions. And there are usually paid. So you need to pay some licenses or pricing fees or whatever. Uh, so we need to enroll and then you will have some kind of um, again some wizard or questionnaire usually depending on the type you will need to fill this and basically it really depends on what type of uh, product to use so you can have plans li licenses and stuff like that good thing is that you can also use uh, mm, some discounts or whatever if you agree with the vendor you can um, create a support ticket and then negotiate the prices if they are not set in the stone so this is for the SaaS but generally you can deploy whatever you see in the marketplace how does it work internally um, this is built uh, and, and it's using uh, google tem um, templating for deployments you can also creating your own deployments using gcloud or the api there is a nice step-by-step -step wizard here on this page and i think they also started to support terraform in some way Okay, but what if I have a big organization and I want to have my own catalog? Uh, for that, uh, Google as well have a solution. They call it private catalog or service catalog. Again, let's open the link for the service catalog. So um, this is really a solution where you then 
give your users of your organization a way how to install things from this marketplace just by installing only approved things in your inventory uh, in your private catalog if you want to see or go to the private catalog they have a <laughs> link there somewhere go to console and we open the console cloud google cloud catalog and you can browse or deploy some solutions you need to be admin you need to have the organization and then you can uh, prepare the private catalog solutions here what next what mm, how can i find what i'm having already installed you can go to your products your orders and we see we have jenkins installed this is because this was using the deployment option and the other solution which we installed was in just deploying to Kubernetes. How much does it cost? Uh, the costs are usually handled uh, by using your billing account. So if you have the rights, you can open the billing and there you would see on the billing page or billing related information to everything uh, which is running on the Google Cloud. You would see it by your projects, by the technologies and so on. So you will need to have the billing rights to see this. How can I clean up the mess? Uh, that's a good question. If uh, in this was deployed uh, via marketplace and the deployment templates, you could go to the deployment manager. If you scroll down or search, you should see something like the deployment manager. And then for your solution, if you click on the solution name, you could delete this very easily, select all and that would be deleted in a couple of minutes. Um, for the one which we deployed um, on the Kubernetes, I would recommend then to delete this uh, by going to Kubernetes engine and deleting the whole cluster, if you don't need it, of course. So selecting the cluster, delete, type the cluster name, or copy paste, and then delete. And that should clean up all the mess. And that's all, guys. Uh, so remember, there are also other ways how to do this, but I wanted to show the simplest way by using the marketplace with the prepackaged uh, applications or solutions which you can easily use. And from my point of view, this is the simplest way. Of course, you could use something else like Terraform or other uh, third-party tools to install whatever you like or commands or APIs and so on. But this is the simplest one and I wanted to showcase. So if you liked the video, click on subscribe, click on like, uh, and then watch all the other videos on the channel. Yeah, Go ahead. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.